we are the hidden gems, the go-to guys. We are the unsung hero in many eyes. We are health professionals seven days a week and we consider ourselves to be unique. We provide all aspects of care, emergency or planned. We have the clinical skills to deal with every demand. So we are operating department practitioners, the unknown role in the NHS. Many people don't know who we are and that's an issue that we must address. So our bread and our butter is in the theatre of dreams, the place where nerves are burned. Our bread and our butter has many themes and it's the place where patients get scared. So we will offer you compassion and give you support. We will give you the care with all our thoughts. We'll maintain your dignity and ease your soul. We'll do everything we can to give you control. So some of us will gather your details and make an individual plan because we consider ourselves as the anaesthetist, right hand man. So we need to know about allergies, metal work, loose T4 dentures, pressure points, unstable joints, because anaesthetics can be risky ventures. So we check drugs, we check machines, we check the monitors and the fibre optic screens. We check the blood pressures, the gas pressures, the patient's ECG. We'll even check if the anaesthetist wants a coffee or a tea. We check the table, the operating lights, we'll check the patient's legal rights. We transfuse blood into a cannulated vein, we'll prepare epidurals to ease the mother's pain. We'll position you and warm you and create a sterile field. We'll give you protection from infection with what we call a prophylactic shield. Because it's our duty to care, our duty to keep you from harm. It's our duty to keep your nervous system nice and calm. So some of us will then be the surgeon's best friend who scrub up and don up and work together till the end. And then instruments will be counted, checked and recorded whilst making sure that surgeon has left nothing hoarded because we are responsible for the sterile field and we will stand tall and not be pressured to yield. Some of us then take over as the recovery ODP with post-operative care, a total, total necessity. Breathing and bleeding, sickness and pain, we will recover you till your senses regain and then we'll get you back to the ward once you're stable and content and hope your journey was not too much of a torment. But it doesn't end there for the ODP because we're on call to attend to any kind of emergency. We provide care for those patients in their hour of need, those patients where life cannot be guaranteed. So we campaign and compete and don't even think about defeat. We make it our mission to overcome their condition because those patients, they need help to live. Those patients just need someone to give. And that could be CPR in a and or an intubation in ITU, an emergency section on labour ward or urgent surgery on a spinal cord. And never, never forget that we are part of these teams and we play such a vital role and we're part of the team that gets control of the airway, of the breathing, of the circulating system. The anaesthetist will take the lead whilst we will endeavour to assist him. But yet, despite all our endeavour and the duties that we perform, despite how many hearts that we tend to warm, despite our knowledge and the outcomes we achieve, despite all the pain that we relieve, despite our abilities, our effort, our effective care, despite the compassion that we never ration, but always share, despite all of this, thousands of us still agree that it hurts so much when people ask, what's an ODP?